scream it out. That's what some drivers are doing, or they're just taking a deep breath. I just take a deep breath and just, you know, focus on, on the road and what I'm doing, but I have to just, you know, I don't want to argue or fuss. I don't want no confrontation with nobody. So I just, you know, I take a woosa. Driving while stressed or having elevated emotions while driving is also a distraction. It's just as much as a distraction as texting and driving is. General Motors is teaming up with the Governor's Highway Safety Administration to help combat distracted driving. We really want to bring awareness to the fact that distractions can be more than texting, more than just having a cheeseburger in your vehicle. Really, we need to be cognizant of our emotional state when we're out on that road. So that's where the Scream It Out Challenge comes into play. It's all about your mental health. GM decided to do this after seeing a rise in anxiety and stress because of the increase of traffic deaths. GM and the McCann World Group did a study with 3,000 U.S. drivers, and this is what they found. 40% of respondents really feel more anxious than they did po uh, before the pandemic. We found that 54% of respondents indicated that they had cited times when they were crying in their vehicles. About a third had mentioned that they had times where they actually had to pull over because they were too emotional to drive. Paul Green is a research scientist and leader at the Human Factors Engineering Group at U of M's Transportation Research Institute. And he says this could be a major key in solving these problems. Having a better understanding of just how people drive. It's more science and difficult to convince people sometimes to focus on this. But there are questions like, well, how difficult is it to drive in this situation? How do we measure the workload of the driving task? Because we're thinking about stress, we're thinking about distraction, and yet that's layered on top of the basic task of driving. Douglas Isby also noticed people's emotions are running higher since the pandemic, but offers his advice on how to deal with the stress while driving. Before I get in my car, I say a prayer because now in these days, there's so much stress out here. So you have to be careful. Peter Maxwell 7, Action News.